Hey everybody, welcome back to Susie's Stuff. I'm Susie, and today is Tuesday, so it's time for our 60 second DIY. And what will it be today? Well, I've got three projects and we are going to do some wrapping. Yes, that's right, some wrapping techniques. And I'm gonna use some supplies from Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and a couple from Walmart. And I always want to in try to inspire you. And so I found this little graphic that said, do it for yourself, and I thought, Wow, how perfect. We always do it for ourselves, and so I think we can call it a DI for Y. <laughs> so let's DI for Y today. And I also want to thank you if you're joining me today and give me a like, a subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new episode. So let's sit back and get ready for three projects for our two. Tuesday, 60 Second DIY. And our first project today is called Wood Plaque Wrap. And so every time I get ready to do a project, I put them in these giant Ziplocs from Dollar Tree. And if you haven't spotted them, check out over in the laundry area. They are awesome. So our clock has started and I'm taking four of these plaques and I'm wrapping two of them with the natural color of this jute twine and I'm doing I did two of those and then I found this jute twine at Walmart and it's green I've never seen that before and I thought we have to use it so I wrapped two of the wood plaques with green and so now I'm going to sort of situate them as you see here and I'm going to secure them with some jumbo popsicle sticks And I love these metal flowers that I found at Dollar Tree. I picked up three of them, and I'm just gonna hot glue that and put it right in the center of our little design. With 10 seconds to go, you could hang it, but I'm gonna use this little, those little mini pallets that you find at Dollar Tree, and it is the perfect holder for, or the stand for this project. Time's up, I made it! Look how cute this came out. You could use any colors that you like. I love all these colors and I think it is perfect for spring. What do you think? I think it wrapped up beautifully. And my second project today is called Buffalo Garden Plate. So this is one of those steaks from Dollar Tree, but I already took off the steak. I like the little uh, circle in the center. And I'm gonna be using some of this twine from Walmart. And we need a clock and here we go. So these are the little steaks that you can find at Dollar Tree. And I love how it's what it says and I love the black part of it. And I thought, wow, this would go perfect with the Buffalo check plate. Also from Dollar Tree. Look, I'm done in 20 seconds. But of course we gotta jazz it up a little more and we're gonna do a little wrapping. And I'm gonna take this white, um, uh, what do you call it, rope, nautical rope from Dollar Tree and some twine. That twine is from Walmart, it's a little bit thicker. And so I just wrapped two pieces of the nautical rope and we're gonna hot glue those right underneath the plate for little handles. Such an easy project. I love this project. I was thinking about first painting the inside black and then maybe stenciling, but I found this uh, little plaque in the center and I just think it's darling. So with five seconds to go, just getting it all situated in there, we are done. Woohoo! I love this project, so cute. And I'm really into wrapping the nautical rope. I've seen that a lot lately with doing it with yarn and some people have made some rainbow with them. So I just love that wrapping technique. And those little succulents, I made those last year because they were some votive candle holders from Dollar Tree. So I love this. How about you? And my last project today is called Wrapped Up Basket. I'm using one of the little wire baskets from Dollar Tree, 
some of my favorite ribbon, a little bit of some leftover burlap ribbon that I had, a couple of rings, and this rope I got at Walmart. Need a clock? Here we go. So I had already um, cut this for another project, but I never used it. But this is a super wide piece of burlap. It doesn't have wire in it, but it's like rolled up like in a ribbon. And I'm just taking it and uh, hot gluing it all the way around the basket. And then I'll cut some of that extra piece off, but um, it just goes perfect all the way around. Now, the only thing, it looks a little kind of scrappy, but don't worry about that because the wrapping rope technique here is going to hide all of that. So I just start at the bottom with the rope and then just use my hot glue to keep on going around. You can see this is so simple to do just keep wrapping and keep adding a little bit of hot glue every now and then I think I used it more than you know I really needed but I just wanted it to be secure in there sad thing is I didn't make my 60 seconds this project did take a little bit longer but seriously I, I did it in about mm, maybe five minutes something like that it was so quick to do so I stopped before I went all the way around the top and I'm using my rings and I'm using the farmhouse ribbon and I just hot glued it down in there just like you saw and then I'm just going to continue now wrapping going over the ribbon as you see there so that the rings are sticking out and then I'm going to quickly wrap all the way almost to the top and then I'll cut it and that will be secure. So I just cut it in sort of a diagonal to sort of fit it in there and make it look really nice uh, as I tuck it in and it's done. I just love this and the reason I sort of added this with my uh, 60 second DIY today <laughs> is um, because it was some wrapping technique kind of into that lately and I'm into all these textures and ropes I think that was on my New Year's resolution is to use lots of texture so you can use this with any basket that you have you don't have to have the wire basket um, it could be a square basket anything like that and I thought how cute to put your little wash rags in in your guest bath but then I thought oh I have to use that little metal flower and this one is sort of a baby pink light pink uh, flower I love it I added a little tower block in there to really make it secure and it just turned out so adorable look at that now we have finished and it just is so cute and I think this would be a great present for Mother's Day and my friend there Shepherd's Tale Candles she created that candle and it says if mothers were flowers I would pick you so she has those candles um, and I'll leave her link down below if you're interested the candle smells great but the basket I love it that flower is beautiful you could use no flower at all just the basket by itself and I am loving all three of these projects that I use some wrapping technique in I hope you enjoyed all of these projects today they sure were fun to do and to see if I could get them done in 60 seconds now you know most of them aren't really done in 60 seconds but I sure do like to show you in 60 seconds and I hope that I have inspired you today. Remember, this was our DI4Y. Do it for yourself. And I hope that you enjoy a day of crafting or whatever you want to go do. Get your nails done. Get your toes done. And have a wonderful, inspirational day.
And I am thankful for you for tuning in. And remember, I do my Tuesday 60 second DIYs. And Saturday is my full DIY episode. I can't wait till this Saturday. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click that button. Leave me a comment. I love to chat with you. And I'll see you next time on Susie Stuff KDIY Channel 146. Bye, everybody.